Hello! I've decided to take requests and the first request today I put out a call on Twitter and somebody called Ian Todd suggested several things. He suggested cake, time travel, the future. Now I'm going to go with time travel just for today. So hello Ian. If anyone else wants to have a shout out or me to make a video specifically directed to what they want to do then let me know. Anyway time travel. What do I know about time travel? Not an awful lot, so this will be fun. Anyway, because scientifically you're supposed to like peer review and make sure that you've got all the relative different books, you're going to have a bibliography, you're going to have references. So I've looked around the house and I found lots of very, lots of really very useful books. Look, this one: How to Build a Flying Saucer and other speculative engineering things. That's not really what it's called, but whatever. Something in this book is true. Something in this book is true, that's good. Nothing in this book is true. And also, faster than light, superliminal loopholes in physics. So if you want to look them up, then you can look up real stuff and speculative stuff about physics. What I'm going to do is probably nothing to do with that. Now, time travel. My theory about time travel. A long time ago, I went to loads of interviews and things for universities. Doing drama, not doing science. I like science, but that's beside the point. Anyway, on one very long bus trip to one very nice place that I didn't get into, I suddenly had an epiphany. I just suddenly had, I knew suddenly how to do time travel. So I'll show you how to do time travel. First of all, a bit of paper. Now I had scissors, but this is gonna to take too long. So a bit of paper. This is a brief model of time and how to travel in it. And you need a cocktail stick. Now, Things we know about physics that might or might not be true. There are various different universes that are all parallel, might or might not be true. String theory, everything's vibrating at certain resonances and also parallel universes to do with that. So, also, Big Bang, there was nothing and then there was everything. Or, everything was in one tiny dot of time, dot of time and space. Everything was one, tiny little dot and it exploded and everything that's everywhere in the universe was at the very beginning of time in that little dot. What happened before that, we don't know. Maybe there was lots of dots. Maybe there's thousands of millions upon billions of universes all existing next to each other, maybe parallel, maybe just separate, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, sorry, I've got something in my teeth. That's beside the point. I've got a cocktail stick, which is like sort of toothpick, so I can deal with that later. Anyway, so that's what we know about the Big Bang Theory. We also know, I don't know whether we do know this because it's, it's based on my very limited knowledge of science. Uh, everything that no matter can be created, every matter, all the matter in the universe was there at the beginning. Nothing disappears, so it just recycles itself. Whatever happens, it's just kinetic energy, blah, 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 blah. So everything that happens in the universe is, well, it sort of reacts with something else. Also, every single, apparently, Brian Cox said on this the other day, so that's another thing reference yes brian cox on dr brian cox not the one that that was uh, playing hannibal in the the first red dragon film which is it's not called it's called manhunter not him the dr brian Cro cox the crox the uh, very young looking one who's not that young really with the big cheekbones he said that every single atom in the universe has got a specific resonance and every time that something changes with that everything else in the universe every single other atom in the universe changes a little bit to compensate for that so it's all got its own rever res references resonances so everything exists at the same time it all reacts with each other also all matter in the universe can be condensed down to a very small part so this we can see is got to do with time travel in that everything's in the same place ah and it all exists and nothing changes really it changes in a different way but it's all there everything's there so this is how my universe time on the bus going to the interview to the drama interview right so this is this it's a concertina this is time and space this is the middle of time and space I have to poke a hole now that's the difficult bit is poking the hole in time and space but if everything is everywhere and everywhere everything and it's all at the same time and the same space right then all we have to do to travel in time is to poke a hole right through the middle this is all 
not break the cocktail stick. So this might work. See, maybe a pin or a needle would work. You know, in the medieval times, the Middle Ages, they used to argue philosophers and scientists and all sorts who were the same things, philosophers and scientists. So they were the same things back in the day. They used to argue whether, um, another bro broken cocktail stick, whether angels, how many angels could you get on the, the head of a pin? Basically, all of them, because there aren't any angels. But if there were, they would all fit in the same time and space because they're all in the same place. So I'm going to use this scissors, after all, to make a hole, poke a hole in the universe, poke a hole in the universe, and get this cocktail stick, stick it through. So, everything's in one place. Aha! So time, to us, looks like it's all sort of time and matter. There you are. It's sort of concertinaed out, a bit messily. So it's all there all over the place right so there but it's all in the same place so all we need to do is find a way to travel through it maybe using a wormhole in this particular case it's a scissors hole with a cocktail stick in it there you go or you could just invent an app for it and uh, people that's so what I could do is like I could invent the app and then I could get the app and I could put it on like an iPhone or, or an iPod Touch, which is what I've actually got. I press it and then go back in time and not have done this at all, not have done this video. So people that with eagle eyes and ears might say, you've said that before, Elise. But, ooh, have I, see? Because all time and space is at the same place, as we've just demonstrated, at the same place. So if you've heard me say it before, that's because I'm saying it now and it's gone through time, through my magic of, there you go. So what's happened is everything happens at once. So you might say, now six minutes 46 of these, I've wasted six minutes 46 of my time up to seven minutes nearly now of my time, but you haven't, you see, all you've got to do is take this, travel back in time, nothing's lost, it's all there, all good. So there you are, time travel in a cocktail stick, not in a nutshell, nutshells, they're nice, cocktails, olives, mm, maybe I should do one about cocktails, yes, so there you are, time travel, thank you very much, bye bye.